Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, it's going to be only eating recommended serving sizes for the next 24 hours. I'm just gonna take you through like my day as well today. Never look at serving sizes ever. So yeah, I'm just gonna get straight into it. God, I've got serious bed hair. I have not brushed my hair yet, but um, I've just gone downstairs. It's about quarter past seven and I'm quite hangry right now. Literally, I don't know about anyone else, but for me, I think breakfast could be one of my favorite meals of the day. So I'm gonna make myself a coffee. I've been trying to find out what the recommended amount of coffee is. Different coffees have different strength and everything. So I'm not entirely sure what strength it is, but they say, I think the recommended amount is like two to three cups of coffee a day, which I think I have around that, sometimes more if I'm like really tired or whatever. Oh, I'm intrigued to see what the cereal is gonna be like, because literally usually I fill the bowl right to the top. Don't know how many grams of stuff that is. I'm gonna go for this little coffee today. smell of coffee in the morning. So 30 grams is the recommended amount. So let's get the scales out. So I've just been giggling and apparently it's like about half a cup is one serving of milk. It's about that. I've got a scale here. I don't normally eat crunchy nut, like I've not had this in ages, but I thought it'd be a good example and it does taste really nice. It's just so sugary. Mm, Oh my god, that is 30 grams. Like, I can still touch the bottom <laughs> with my spoon. If I'm gonna have cereal, I'll always fill it right to the top. That is ridiculous. How is that 30 grams? But that is the most sugary cereal in the entire world right there. Wow. This is like when you've just finished cereal. How is that 30 grams? I remember when I was younger, and if I'd go to like a school friend's house, I remember when I'd have like dinner with their family or whatever and I'd always feel so hungry because I don't I remember their portion size being so much smaller than like my dad what he used to get give me and stuff like that. That is me finished with breakfast. That was not filling in the slightest. Oh, 30 I'm actually shocked at that. Now I've had my coffee, I am going to head to the gym. I'm gonna film whilst I'm there too. What is this hand doing? Hello. Yesterday, it literally rained all day long and just made me want to eat crap food. Whereas the sun just gives me a new sense of life. Bring you guys along and we'll just go from there. right now i've just got back from the gym i had to rush back because i knew deliveries come and delivery was coming and literally sometimes i actually wonder what i'm doing in the gym like today i must have been in there an hour and a half and i didn't finish my full session like how is that possible i literally i think i just go into like my own little world or it must take me like two minutes to do a rep <laughs> or something. Like I would love to know why I spend so long in there. But I still did get a really good work in and I was really sweating. And I I've been really focusing on getting like a mind to muscle connection lately. And it definitely has made a difference. I'm really quite peckish now. Like I said, in every single video, you guys must know by now how much I consume within a day. Now I need to head to the shop and I'm gonna find something to eat because I don't have that much in. Literally, we did a food truck two days ago and I'm pretty sure Mason has just, just inhaled the entire food truck we did. So, I've just got back from the shops and I've got all this stuff. Don't know if I'll necessarily have all this today, but I just thought, did a bit of a shop. Beef and red wine casserole, some green and white chickpea bean salad, some beetroot salad, some stir fry stuff, watermelon, a ginger shot, some hummus, rice noodles, and smashed avocado over there. I've got a ginger shot. The average serving is, a, is the whole thing. So we're off to a good start so far. I was, I was thinking that it was gonna be like, you could only have half. It's quite a big shot as well. So I've just been trying to Google what the recommended serving size is. 50 grams. 50 grams. That doesn't sound like a lot, so I'm gonna weigh it and um, 
Smells so nice. So this is your slitherine. That is 50 grams. <laughs> Start. Usually I'll have two of these little slithers because they're so tiny. It's already weird shaped bread, but look how small that is, seriously. I think that would probably all fit in my whole entire mouth. I make smashed avo on toast for my lunch. I've just been trying to find what the recommended serving size for eggs is, and it's one egg again. But what, who, who eats one egg? Seriously, I've, I've never eaten one egg. Like It's kind of a waste of time cooking an egg if you're just going to have one, in my opinion. God. Whilst that's cooking, I'm going to have some watermelon. One recommended serving size for watermelon is 100 grams. 100 grams? There's 440 grams here. That is like one slice of a watermelon, isn't it? Like, on holiday, I'll always have... Oh, I love watermelon on a holiday, how nice is that? You're in the sunshine, you wake up in the morning, go down to like buffet breakfast. I apps, oh, when I worked a season abroad, I literally just lived off it. Like I'd buy a huge watermelon and just have that breakfast and lunch. Literally rationing today. No way, that is 88 grams. That can't be right, surely not. There we have it. That is 100 grams of watermelon when I usually eat the whole thing. Ah. Oh the recommended serving size for avocado is 50 gram. Not very much. Here is my lunch, which is so tiny, like a sort of slithering. That's about two mouthfuls, would you say? I've got snack. Don't forget to hit that like button whilst you're here. Unsubscribe. Well, that took me less than two minutes to eat. So I've just picked up these yogurt rice cakes for a snack. This pack contains six servings. There are six rice cakes and obviously one rice cake is one serving. Sorry? Who I ever, I've never, I've never ever had just like one rice cake, it's two or three. So just one of those. Oh, these are so good. So we're back in the kitchen. This time I'm gonna have a coffee and snack. I think I did the most successful shop earlier on. I don't really fancy never rice cake, so I'm just gonna have um, some hummus and I think it was like 30 grams so I don't know how much or how little that is there. that's got to be a joke that is like one singular dip this size so for six I think this is like 20 grams beetroot salad how nice does that look? I actually love beetroot. Absolutely nothing. I will literally normally have like half the entire pack of beetroot salad. Just realised I've never had this combo of food in my entire life. I don't know why I've decided today was the day. If you're wondering why she's eating beetroot, you can burn hummus. So the dressing gown is now on and I'm in the fridge. Oh, does anyone else literally just live in their dressing gown? It just goes on top of my clothes. It's the middle of June in the UK and I'm still wearing a big fluffy dressing gown. I've just turned the heating on as well. It's really cold today. So I bought these today. It's two crispy seaweed thins, wasabi flavour. Some of my friends have been raving about them. So I thought I'd try them. This is one serving size. I've just been taking some pictures for my home account. If you're into like home interior, it is at Olivia with two A's home. Spicy. Oh, that's on fire. These like, obviously they're not gonna fill you up or anything, but I think they're just quite satisfying. I love anything crunchy. These would be nice, like sprinkled onto a meal as well. Ooh, that's a good idea. I think this casserole serves two. Like I would always usually, if I'm gonna have something like this, I usually cook myself, but tonight I just thought I'd pick something like this to see like what a serving size would be. Who would ever share like a little round thing like that? That's crazy, isn't it? And then I'm gonna cook some rice udon noodles. Oh my goodness me. 
Would you believe this is three servings? I mean, little thing. Three servings? This is literally just making me contemplate. I, John, oof, I eat so much. So, as for the noodles, this serves two people. Oh, there's a fair bit in there. So I'm gonna have 60 grams of this little salad thing. So that is 137 of noodles. It doesn't even fill the whole plate. Like if I have noodles, they fill the entire plate. Here's dinner, which isn't, I mean, it's definitely literally like half my portion size. I don't even think I had this size portion like when I was a child. Like seriously, look, that's like, I've had one mouthful and the whole plate is basically gone. <sighs> that was like a snack. This chat, this challenge has not been too fun, to be honest. I feel quite lean after today, to be honest. That was actually really good. Like, shout out to Waitrose for their ready meals. That was really tasty. Got the good. I went to the shop and got a bit of a snack. I got a Dr Pepper Zero and Aero Peppermint. I haven't had this in forever. And I was actually really intrigued to see what the serving size would be like. Four pieces. Whoever, whoever does eat four pieces of Aero chocolate like that, that's just like getting a taste for it. Oh my God, that is torturous. My sort of average is, I sometimes finish it. My business, so that. Ah, what's that, what's in here? So here we have a... In the space of two seconds, I haven't finished my one thing, one serving. Only. Half a bar's gone. Mm. Looks like a little but So I've just filled this glass up with half a Dr Pepper. So I'm gonna end this video here. That was actually quite a tough challenge, I'm not gonna lie, because the portion sizes were just teeny. And I've just felt quite hungry all day, like I haven't really felt full at all. It's quite interesting to see, especially like with the cereal and stuff, just how little that is in like portion sizes. Do you know roughly how many calories I have a day? As I've tracked previously and everything, and what I eat definitely fits in with sort of my gut goals, and I work out like five times a week. I'm going to do a video this week as well, just on like my on my current gym routine and like my normal sort of eating habits, like day to day. Like. But if you haven't already, don't forget to hit this video with a like and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.